It really is like a sandblaster. So today I'll be trying out this fun little gadget. This is the Almopay Petty Perfect with Diamond Crystals. Uh, this is, according to their website, an electric foot file that will give you soft, beautiful feet in minutes. I don't know why I'm so excited to try this out. It kind of reminds me of a power sander for your feet. So normally when I exfoliate my feet, I use this little handheld gadget from Revlon. So um, it comes in two parts. So this part breaks up all the tough areas like cracked skin and calluses, and it just attaches to this half here. So when you exfoliate, it collects all the dead skin inside of it. And then after all the rough spots are broken up, this part just snaps on. This is sort of like a pumice texture, and this is to smooth all like the flaky bits. And so far that has worked for me, but I've had my eye on this for over a year and I've been eager to try it out. I just thought the price point was slightly too high. Um, this normally retails for $40 Canadian, but Shoppers Drug Mart had it on sale for $29.99 this weekend and plus 20 times the points on top of it. So I figured this would be a great time to pick this up. It comes with four AA batteries, which is always nice. And it also comes with an extra roller and you can purchase the rollers separately on Amazon for $20 for two, which I thought was a little on the pricey side, but I guess it depends on how long a roller lasts for. So before we start, if you're enjoying this video or watching it, please give it a thumbs up. It's always appreciated. If you want to know more about the Amal Pay Petty Perfect, don't go anywhere, just keep watching. So on the brand's website, it says the unique roller head with diamond crystals gently reduces the hard skin, leaving it feeling silky smooth. Um, it says it gives you soft, beautiful feet after one use. It also says the roller heads are available in three different intensities, extra coarse for particularly thick, stubborn, hard skin, regular coarse for excess hard skin and gentle for providing a perfect finish. Ergonomically designed handle is molded to fit the hand, making it extremely comfortable and pleasant to use. This also comes with a safety feature that locks the roller in place if too much pressure is applied, preventing any injuries. So one of the reasons why I really wanted to try this is uh, because, um, well, after a long, harsh winter, the bottoms of my feet are horrible. So I'm assuming that if you clicked on this video, you kind of already know what you're in for. But just in case you're at all squeamish about feet, this is your three second warning to either look away or to click out of this video now because you're about to see some very unflattering angles of the bottoms of my feet. So this is the fiasco that is the bottom of my feet. So I have like a huge honking callus in the corner there from years and years of abuse from uh, jogging outdoors. I have a giant callus on my big toe and the skin there is all cracked. There's another giant callus in the center of my foot. I'm assuming it's from like years of running. And this area along the edges of my heel is all like dry and cracked and in need of some serious exfoliation. My right foot is bad too, but it's not nearly as bad as the left. Another huge honking callus there and um, so this area around the edges of my heels are in need of some serious exfoliation. And uh, again, I have some like dry skin on my toe and uh, a nice big callus that needs to be worn down. Overall, both feet just look pretty horrific. Alrighty, so how do we use this? All right, so first of all, I thought I'd get this out of the packaging. Using the first time. Unscrew the base and remove this, oh, I see, plastic ring and uh, this little, this red tab that was covering the batteries. Whoa, it really is like a sandblaster. So twist on by turning the silver ring to the left, gently gliding the roller head over hard skin and dead skin will gently be exfoliated. Use on dry skin only, do not press too hard or the unit will stop. Okay, there is a warning label. Don't use on wet skin. Don't use on broken skin. Don't use on irritated skin. Do not submerge the device in water. And this part is really important, but it says this product is not suitable for people with diabetes and those with poor blood circulation. Okay, so I guess there's nothing left to do but to go to town. Um, I'm trying to think of how to do this. It's probably best done on the floor. I'm just gonna put down a towel here just to make the whole process a little bit more 
hygienic. So this angle is slightly awkward, but it'll give you a much better idea of how this product works. So welcome to the bottoms of my feet. All right, let's fire this up. So it is working, it's just very slow going. I managed to get a lot of the flaky parts like sanded down, but as far as the calluses, I don't know. I think it's gonna take a lot of like wear and tear before the calluses are broken down a little bit more. So I moved back up to this level because it's a less awkward angle to talk. So here are some after clips. Um, it, I mean, it did okay. What it did a good job at is smoothing out flaky skin. So this area right here where I had like great big chunks of like flaky skin sticking out, it did a really good job at like just exfoliating and smoothing that out. Where it didn't do a good job is where uh, all the, the callus buildup areas are like right there and uh, right in the corner here. And then I have like a bit of callus on my toe but all the flaky bits are at least smoothed away. So what I'm thinking might be a good idea is to uh, combine this with this. So if I took the cheese grater thing to my foot first and broke up all the problem areas and then smoothed them out with this afterwards, I think the two together would work out well for me. Um, but this on its own, I don't think is quite enough for what my feet need. I do think it does a good job at smoothing out flaky skin. But as far as smoothing out huge honking calluses, I think I need a little bit more help than what this offers. But this did do what it said it's going to do. It did smooth out a lot of dead skin. One thing it obviously didn't do is get rid of dryness. So after this video, I'm filming a review today for the Aveeno Repairing Foot Mask, which is supposed to help with cracked skin. So if you'd like to check out the review for this product, I will be posting it probably in a few days. I will include the link to this video in the card right up there if you'd like to watch it. As always, if you have any further questions about this product, just leave them in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe before you leave. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.